drive to, to compete every snap is so important. And that's, I think, that'll erase a lot of different things. So they may have, like, for instance, the guy may have made a play, may not, maybe not have, uh, maybe didn't execute the way that you wanted to. Uh, so, um, you know, I, I assess, I watch it. Those are the kind of things I'm looking for. And, uh, you know, your cups, your fridge is never full. So you got to stay hungry. We've got a lot of football left, and that's what we're going to do. Yeah, you have seen the tape, but, yeah, but uh, Dallas Gantt, the guy broke the Kind of free on that last play there in the end, but Dallas can't stay with it to get the fumble at the goal line. That's right. What does that mean, I guess, to this defense as a group to get that zero, but also, like you said, to see that kind of hustle? Yeah, listen, I feel like if we talk about, you know, our, our unit, right? We talk about being tough. We talk about being players. We got to live it. And so, like, when you saw Dallas, the effort that he gave, it's not just the honor, that's what should happen. You know, so I'll tell him, I'll congratulate him, but. That has to be the new norm if we want to be who we are supposed to be. So I'm proud of him. Uh, it's funny you bring that up. I, I didn't even, uh, I got to see it. I didn't, I didn't even uh, dissect that play. Yeah, right after goal line. Yeah, I remember. I saw we got the ball, but I'm proud of the fight. We clean the mistakes up, but when you fight like that, when you work like that, and Dallas is a kid who's been a young guy coming on. Um, it's harder with those young guys. They don't always get the, the ball cup reps. But, you know, you're responsible to be ready when the number's called. He was. So. You've been around some good players. Chase yeah. Young seems to be, yeah. I don't know, I guess what y'all like, leading by example. What have you seen from your management, yeah. the way he's playing? Well, he's playing at a different level because I think uh, his preparation is elite. He has an elite coach, uh, Larry Johnson. Uh, I think that he's a player that's uh, – not only is he playing at a high level, he's trying to get his people around him to play at a higher level. So naturally, you, when you're leading, you, your play elevates. He's, I mean, he's talented, he works hard, but I think that right now is his leadership, his efforts to try to get people around him better. It's kind of what separates him. Well, the linebacker will talk about how they forged a good bond with you. Um, yeah, no, 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 I got you. Don't worry about it. <laughs> a lot of the linebackers will talk about how they like, formed a really good bond with you, and just that they've really talked you up. Like guys like Baron Brown here talked about that. Um, was that like an immediate thing that happened, or did it take? How long did it take before you guys felt really comfortable? Because it seems like it didn't take very long. No, nah, I mean, I, you know, I, I mean, it takes time. You know, which, you know, it always takes time when you get somewhere new. Relationships, real ones, real relationships take time. And they, they also form through honesty. We have an honest relationship, all of them. Uh, and I love them, uh, I'm proud of them uh, from that standpoint. So, I mean, I, you know, I, I feel like we all have a bond with each other as a defense. I think we have a great culture. Uh, Coach Day is, is maintained, and I think it's uh, really encouraged everybody to connect. I, I mean, you play hard when you love the guy next to you. So that's where we are, but we still got to get better. Kind of Al, you guys talked about point A to point B, right? Just playing with reckless abandon, yeah. simplifying things. Yeah. I mean, Barron seems like a completely different player. Yeah. I mean, what's step one in getting a guy to just shut off and play? Like, like how do you get him to kind of not think so much? Well, and, and, I'm, and I'd be remiss to say this because Barron is one of the brightest guys. Right? Trying for seeing things and catching it. He's, he's sharp, he's, he's a sharper guy by the as I've been around. But in terms of, like, to answer your question, how do you get a guy play? I think the first thing you gotta do is, is have a clear message, expectation, you have to hold them accountable, and then you have to experience it with them. And then I feel like you have to you have to go at, like, why would you, what's holding people back? Usually fear, hesitation, doubt. You gotta address it, and you address it on a day-to-day -day basis. And then you have to develop the self-talk. And, and it's just, you have to be relentless. You have to create that in the end. And so with Barron, you say he's a new guy. He's probably a new guy because he's probably thinking different things. He's probably doing different things on a day-to-day -day basis. So it's like, it's, that's the equation that we focus on. You know? One quick follow-up. Yeah. Um, not related to Barron at all, but Michigan seems to be the conference favorite before the year. All the time. The people in this area of this team and the followers feel disrespected by it because of how much this has uh, this program has accomplished. Being on the other side of it, do you have any opinion now? Like just being at Ohio State, like I honestly, God, I'm just telling you this. Like, I so consumed with what we're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. Like, I haven't watched. I don't want. I mean, I'm not making this up. I mean, I don't know what's going on. 
in other places. I don't get his scores. My focus is really on us. And I'm not, not just saying that. But, uh, I think the team of North is, uh, they are uh, rated because they're a hell of a team, man. They got a lot of talent, well coached. Yeah, I, I don't, but it doesn't matter. You know, like today, you got to show up today. You know, that team that we played today is a good team. It's hard to win. You know, so, uh, you know, I you really can't focus on that stuff, I feel like, and be as productive as you can be at the moment. That's all the objective. You know, it's an annoying thing. Thank you very much. It's not annoying. The people, Get into that sort of thing, you know. I think people get into it if you, but if you're in it, it's hard to because uh, every day you give people's best. You know what I mean? So uh, you know, my focus, like you know, all the kids' focus and the coaches, is us and the best we can be. And that's it. You know, and uh, we got to recharge tomorrow and then uh, erase it, start new.